Hey guys, Landon Rich bringing you the Metric Monday. So today I want to talk about revenue per call. And these principles are going to apply to really any revenue or money number metric uh, inside of a contact center. RPC, revenue per call, could be, you know, what, again, whatever it is, um, you know, amount per off or wh whatever the metric is, but specifically revenue per call. Um, in my experience, one thing that uh, you have to understand is for the revenue per call, whether it be a dollar amount or a percentage, whatever, that number, let's say it's $100 uh, revenue per call. So let's break that down. You're expecting that every call on average, let's say you take you know 10 phone calls throughout the day, your average revenue per call that you gain from those calls needs to be at least $100. So that means if you blank on one of those calls, you need to be double on the on the next one or on one of them right so the best managing practice for rpc revenue per call is uh the number of the you got to get on top fast right the more calls you take and burn through it just hurts that rpc and a lot of times here's the tricky thing is a lot of times some clients that drive uh, that send you the traffic they don't care if it's you know if you're if you're sales and you're supposed to be driving revenue and guess what you get customer service calls they, they don't care, right? Uh, that number goes against, that call goes against your revenue per call, and which means you need to, you know, you need to start, you need to pick that back up. And that's the tricky thing because you're gonna be receiving calls that sometimes you can't sell on. Tech calls, customer service calls, whatever, and again, so sometimes if you're lucky enough, you can you can disposition those calls out, right? Where it will not hurt your revenue per call. But sometimes you can't, so you have to you have to be you have to optimize every opportunity you get. So from a supervisor standpoint, uh, you know you're managing a, a team that every interval, half hour intervals, I would say you need to be on top of a few different things. Number one, how many calls uh, are your agents getting? Are they burning through calls? Right. Sometimes you'll check. You'll have an agent who's taken one or two calls, and uh, you know their average handle time is right where it needs to be, ten minutes. They're averaging, you know, depending on the queue, four to five calls per hour. Right. 10 minute calls, 40, 50 minutes of, of, of on the, you know, on the phone time, which is pretty good. Uh, but then you'll see some, some agents that their average handle time is like two or three minutes, right? And they're burning through calls and they, they've got 10 calls by the, by the, by the time the first interval's over. Uh, they're, they're double where they should be at. And typically if you've got agents burning through calls uh, on an RPC metric, it's hard to come out of, right? So my tips for anything revenue generated or anything specifically to to calls that affect the metric you get that, those first two or three hours are key 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 um i run power hours right so extra incentives uh, i make sure i don't do a lot of sit down coaching i drive the energy uh, up on my feet i'm visible uh, you, you have to drive those first two or three hour intervals you've got to to maximize those because if you dig yourself in a hole you're going to be fighting all day long to try to pull yourself out right so again uh, my tips for for revenue per call rpc uh, jump on it early fast pacing first couple hours uh, then obviously as the day goes on, you can develop your lows. Again, it goes back, I'll link a, a video uh, up top uh, on this one, uh, back to managing the spreads. Knowing exactly where your agents are at every interval of every day um, is the best way to drive that. So again, RPC, get on it early, guys. Uh, hit your numbers, know where you're at, and uh, keep the pace up, keep the energy up. Thanks, have a great week, appreciate it.